So which microscope do I recommend? This is the most asked question I get. And I'm just gonna come out right out and say it. I recommend the microscope that I use because it's the only one with the lumen unit and it's you can get epifluorescence microscopes that are more expensive. You can get epifluorescence microscopes that are less safe. This is the best for, for safety and for cost and it's so effective, it's so powerful. So I recommend the i4 trinocular 4K BioFID camera equipped microscope with the Lumen epifluorescence unit. And also I recommend having a dark field condenser and eventually the manual lighting attachment, which LW Scientific is now working on. So why? Well, the reality is the epifluorescence unit changes the nature of, and the possibilities of, of this microscope. So with light microscopy, you can only see to a thousand X and then resolution uh, doesn't keep resolving. It doesn't keep sharp. You can zoom in and it'll just get blurry on you. So, so the lumen unit takes us to epifluorescence lighting out of regular lighting. And that allows us to go a little bit deeper. It allows us to look at things a little bit sharper for longer as we go deeper further in. So that's pretty cool. But then it's also a way to check the bio viability of our bacteria so we can see live dead test staining with it when we use certain stains we also get to do because of those stains we can see the actual color of the background and then do side by sides for numeracy because you know a, a great majority of the bacteria you cannot see with light microscopy you can see more with epifluorescence but still not all so with stains you can stain for the life and see the numeracy in color and so you can compare those things. This is excellent for that. But what's the most powerful thing that the epifluorescence unit does is show you mycorrhizal fungi on roots and on inoculants. So you'll be able to vet an inoculant before you add it. You'll be able to see that your inoculation was, was fu fully done. It was successful. And then you'll be able to come back next year and see that it came back. It was regenerative which is very extraordinarily powerful because they're symbiotic and they can raise plant yields by 30 to 40%. Think about that. Uh, and so this is why people pay for our muscular mycorrhizal fungi. This is why people, uh, you know, desire to see this. That's why there's such demand around it because once it's regenerated, you did it once. So, so this is, this will change farming and like all agriculture all over the world when this gets fully realized as a practice and as, as, as a tool. So I love the Lumen unit. This is the only model that they have that's distanced enough, proper distances, for it to work. So, so if you've got the Revelation or something else, this will not work on it. You gotta get the i4. So that's why I recommend the i4 trinocular. And the other reason is because the camera, the 4K camera, having a camera, notice that the eyepieces here I don't use ever, never, ever, ever. Uh, I'll get into that in a second. But this camera allows me to capture things in 4K. So, so I love it because, of course, with the Lumen unit, I can do stain-free mycorrhizal autofluorescence detection, and then I can do easy IDing of microplastics, most microplastics, easy algae identification. It turns blood red. It's very cool looking. This camera, it saves your eyes. The, the reason I don't use eyepieces is I got headaches and eye strain like very quickly. And that happens to almost everyone I talk to and people who stick with it a long time, they all have glasses. And if you look into the medical side of it, uh, eye strain happens on microscopes if you don't look away for five to 10 minutes every five to 10 minutes. So no one's working that way. No labs are operating that way. That's why if you look at laboratories now, they're all putting screens right over where the eyepieces are. They're putting screens, little screens right there because they don't want to pay for the medical insurance. They don't want to you know, pay for the eye, the eye strain because it, it's, it's out. It, everyone knows that the eyepieces cause eye strain and eye damage over time. Think about it. You're focusing the light into your eye. So... So I don't ever use them and I use a 4K screen and a 4K camera 
And this makes it so that I can just view things in an unlimited, you know, time. I can just hang out and watch things. And I also can record things at 4K so I can communicate them to others and share them at the exact resolution that I observe them at. So we can put it on a giant big 4K screen too and then it stays sharp even at that, you know, size. So it's an incredible, incredible machine and set up for that reason alone. With this practice of microscopy, the quality of your image is the quality of your interpretation. So how good the image is determines how well, how definitive you can be with your interpretation. Videos also let us see more. So the movement of something allows you to see the edges and fill in the gaps. I mean, many, much of what we do in microscopy, we identify things by their movement and behavior. Ciliates, you can tell by their movement. Um, you know, uh, all these things reveal themselves by their movement. Flagellates, you know, their bumbling nature, their propeller, all those kinds of things. They tell you who they are by, by, the, by what you can observe in video and movement. So again, that having that, that communicability is so important. You know, a high quality recording is a high quality communication. And with your peers, your students, your audience, uh, your client, uh, the, the readers, your, like any, any, anything you want to put on there, this improves it. The quality improves the communication. And the reality is high quality sharing is high quality feedback loop with nature as a community which leads to deeper insights, it leads to breakthroughs, it leads to corrections, right? <laughs> and so that makes better decisions faster and with more confidence. That's what we're really building by doing this is building our confidence because we have more ways to test, more ways to see, more ways to verify. And over time, that equals more money saved and made. And we've built soil faster and we've achieved coherence sooner. So harmony between all the elements of soil. I know you can do this. This unit is absolutely incredible. And in fact, you can get 40% off for the next month as a student of mine in regenerative soil microscopy. The new course starts March 31st, but you can sign up now and order your microscope and get it and set it up in time and have it all set up so you can go through all the steps and all the weeks with me. But this is 40% off. So this is a massive, massive savings and it's only for a limited time. I hope that you take advantage of it. Go to regenerativesoilmicroscopy.com. There's also bonuses. There's also the regenerative soil, the R soil database. So you'll be able to take all these tests, all these images and videos and put them somewhere and organize them and set up a timeline so that you can see before and after and see the actions, amounts, and methods. It's a whole new day. I hope that you join us. Check it out at regenerativesoilmicroscopy.com and you'll see what people are saying. You'll see examples of what we're doing and the power of these new methods. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. And I'll see you guys soon. What if you could verify if your compost was actually doing its job? What if you could verify if the inoculants, the mycorrhizal inoculants, biofertilizers, are actually worth the money spending on them? It is all possible. And it's all things you can learn in the Regenerative Soil Microscopy 20 week online course that is starting this fall. If you want to learn how to not just understand your soil, but to see that the things you're doing are actually working, that the money that you're gonna spend or, or have spent was worth it so you don't get fooled again. This is the pathway. We need holistic testing, we need holistic microscopy, and we need to combine them in a new methodology, regenerative soil microscopy. I hope you join us. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. I'll see you soon.